Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as the Republic of Cascadia. Last time, we had quite an adventure, taking out some aliens, some power-armored folk, some Grand Canyon peoples, and some Coloradans. Colorado? Coloradoans. People who live in Colorado. Anyways, so I've already basically re-annexed uh, the Navajo Nation, Painted Dudes, whoever else was up here. So... Regardless, we're still at war with the Scorpion Bites. We want to go to war with the Foragers. I've set up armies all around. And we're trying to kill off New Victoria. Very cool, very, very cool. Let us let our men go. And am I justifying on anyone? Yes. The Foragers, which is a good thing. So let... Oh, yeah, there you go. The Valor Nation, Pain of Men. There they go. Bye-bye. <sighs> Never enough manpower. Never enough. Our guys are assembling. And now we can go to war with these guys. Um, give our guys a few days to so really get to where they need to be. And then we'll probably end up going to war with Baja California. Which means if we take them out, then Makazuma has claims on us, which wouldn't be good, but we're going to have to fight them eventually anyway, so whatever. You guys are trying to spread away, get out of here, not trying to die. But you're going to die regardless. Thank you very much. Hope you're all having a great day, my friends. Uh, a couple comments from yesterday. Really just two main ones that I want to focus on. Which include play as the Free State's remnants or collective down here someday. Well, I will, and I I know I always say that I'll play as certain nations someday. I will play as them someday. I just don't know when that day will be because there's so many other things, so many other countries to play as, and so many suggestions from everyone, which are great. But I, I just don't have time to do it all. Uh, let's go and go to war with these guys. That's great. They shouldn't be too difficult to take out. Got a couple armies. Got someone also. Mentioned yesterday that I should use vertebrates, and I absolutely am right now. I love the vertebrates. I love them. Let's go ahead and get some air bases down here, too. We're going to need a lot of air bases for what we're about to do. And probably put one over here, too. Yeah, a little laggy. Whatever. You know, whatever. Let's see. I would love to be able to put these guys on, but I cannot. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to. Uh, you guys come here. You guys do this area. You guys come here and do that area. Then you guys come here. There you go. And do that area. Gente del Sol is gone. Got some more research done. Oop, I clicked on the wrong thing. Ah, get some of that. Why not? Let's grab some speed for our power armor, which should be doing a great job up there. But we got the forgers done even more quickly than New Victoria. Interesting. Quite interesting. You guys come down there, because we'll need that. And then, basically, we've got to start... We'll go to war with Makazuma soon enough. Uh, this, look is, this looks pretty bad around here. Oh, it looks like some of their guys, they don't have enough equipment on some of their areas, we'll say. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a disastrous war down there if I don't do anything about that. Do you guys have anything for us? No? Isaac? Well, you're okay. You are who you are. Uh, just please get to the Winter Harbor. That would be lovely. Hope you're all having a great day, like I said earlier. And Solik is having a time. Finally, they're gone. Uh, I'm not going to give anything to those people down there. They don't. Th I don't think they really deserve it. Good. And I really want to use just power armor as I get down to Baja, Mexico. Baja, Mexico. Baja, California. Cool. They're going to assume both sides. So That'd be great. Which means we are fully done with the coast up here. We can go to work with Colonet. Great. I want you all down here. Everyone's going to come down here and have a party. we got plenty of political power, my friends. We can go to war with these guys at any time. Well, I don't feel like it. You guys, you are up next. Oh, wait. Oh, Valban is 7th Good. Uh, Tohono Nation, you are next then. Ten days. That's not bad. Pretty much all this area is done and dealt with. It is awesome. Really, really, really awesome, my friends. Overcharged ammo. Very cool. Get some more max speed. I think our power armor will probably need that. Good, good, good. And since we're here, I love nuclear jet bombers, but I love vertebrates so much. Nice. We go to war for Yuma. Just put 200 of those guys on there. It's fine. Basic drills. Good, good, good. Nice. 
Give me one, two. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna use vertebrates from here on out. Bombers are nice and all, but vertebrates, you just put them on and leave them there. I mean, it's just so nice. So nice. Good. You guys are down there. You guys are over there. How many divisions does Moctezuma actually have? That's a lot of manpower. We have quite a bit. They have a lot. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of divisions. Hopefully, we can sink a lot of them. We gotta make sure we keep up on our uh, anti tank type of weaponry. Do you have an upgrade? No. You're level 6. Oh, that's pretty good, but no upgrades. That's a little disappointing. Whatever. You guys are almost down there. That's good. Advanced energy weaponry. Yes. Thank you. Can I do anything about coring areas? So, we want to core Sac City. Awesome. Can we core. Marysville Ranch, yes. Etna? Etna mode. Eventually, eventually. Good. You guys are good to go. Very awesome. You guys, I will just fight against you guys as well. 30 days. Do we have anyone coming this way? Oh, we already have them there. Good. They immediately attack us, which is fine. I don't really care. Wait, we have a power armor division right there. What the heck? Oh. You guys should probably come over here. Defenses are online. Great. They're trying to attack us. Well, I might just try to attack them too. Let's go ahead and do restore Fort Huachuca. Very awesome. Let's get rumors. We'll do that later. Let's explore Vault 29. So, not far from the villages of the Twin Mothers tribe, themselves made up of the descendants of the Vault Dwellers, so it sits a non-functioning Vault Tech facility. John Cassidy's wounded. A master control console for the Zack supercomputer this vault was equipped with stands in a low power state. Oh, which stands? Which stands? The computer terminal yields two options. Reestablish Satlink or restore Zack's defaults. Monthly population, research speed? Uh, I'm going to go with this because we get more monthly population. Fate of the vault. So, with the matter of the supercomputer settled, the choice of what to do with the remaining twin mothers and the vaults must be made. We could give them citizenship and establish ourselves as an outpost in the vault, or we could give them some autonomy. Establish a settlement. Autonomy. No autonomy here. Thank you for the manpower, and a free core. Kind of. Got some manpower, but no one really cares. And Tohono Nation. Oh, Tohono Nation's gone. That was... I thought Bandits would have done that. Whatever. Good. You guys are done. Which means I'm going to send you guys down here, because this is going to be a giant mess trying to take out Mexico, which it always happens, but whatever. Good, good, good. Power armor's going to have to lead the way when we do this stuff. Give me one... Three. There you go. Nice. And then you guys are going to be covering the little open holes here. Four. So we got one, two. One, two, three, four. Good, good. Uh, is there anywhere else? There's probably more holes that I'm missing. Whatever. Over here as well. This is going to look really bad. But whatever. Nice. Just enough. I hope it's just enough. Hopefully. Oh. They had a plane over there. Oh. Oh, the Dutchies? Good. Dutchies, please hold out as long as possible. That would be awesome. But something tells me, you know, against Moctezuma. He's a pretty fierce guy. Pretty fierce. Support robot platoons, huh? It's not bad. We should be able to pierce them, though. So get some of this. I have a cup of Cascadian green tea. Some pretty good stuff. Let's go grab one more infantry division. Uh, we could use riders, but I'm already using, like, you know, other guys called robots. I couldn't think of the term in my head. The other guys. <laughs> Sounds like a show. Sounds like a movie. The other guys. Cool. Oh, nice. Just in time. Alright. My fellows, come right there. And do that. Three, two. One. And okay, they're not there yet. Soon. I'll give them like five seconds. Five. One. Three. Four. Good enough. I know that was out of order. Whatever. Cool. Maryville's Ranch. Oh, I already recorded that. Up here? At, no. A oh, 387. 387. That's fine. Whatever. 
Yep, those guys down there really couldn't hold their own. That's okay. Happens to the best of us. Okay, so we got 12,000 support robots. That's probably a little bit too much for Kaiser's Legion still. Eastport, there you go. Forgers, that might be too much. Or not. Or not. Free States of America. And then... Bust Royalty. Well, we kind of knew they would go bye-bye. Nice. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff here. Plenty of stuff. Oh, almost roughly 50,000 pieces of power armor equipment. That's nice. That's real nice. Awesome. So, if we're going to try to beat up these guys, we're going to have to have a game plan here. I'm going to do a couple encirclements. Because this is the last group in the game that we that is a major power. So after them, you know, Petrochico, Kitchen, it's a... Honestly, they're actually killing each other, which is great. And then Honduras. And then Vision. Going to do that. Doesn't matter. Awesome. Alright. Looks like we got enough political power now. Let's see. Etna. Good. The NCR is partially prop our property. Hmm. West Tech Schematics. I like that one. Bloomfield Space Center. Recon. It's not bad. It's only 5% more recon, though. It's not that much. Let's see. Advanced weaponry. Recon kit. Might as well, because why not? Have a little bit of fun with it. Good. Oh, we need to justify on these guys, but probably won't take that long. They're going to war with Petrochico, which is good. Actually, if we can hit them on two sides, that'd be awesome. Their navy is looking pretty not big. Which is also another great thing. Spy-wise, you guys are probably both home. Come to Moctezuma's lands. His, you know, his home state. And then come on down there, too. Hopefully we can learn a lot about these, this Moctezuma, this robot. Yeah, for heavy ship, that's not bad. Could be worse. Could be better. Let's see. That's half, almost quite literally, half my manpower. Almost. Roughly. God, they love their robots. They got a lot of planes, actually. Hmm. Maybe we should have focused more on gliders. Fighters. Yep. Maybe we'll do the same thing. Biplane fighters? Sure. I don't think we go to war now. Well, they start trying to beat the snot out of us, and they're kind of winning in certain areas, which isn't good. Uh, up here, though, where are you guys at? You guys should probably try to go, since you say you can do well. Maybe you guys can do well, and you guys will go do well as well. So they're going to beat us up quite a bit on the front line here, because it's pretty weak, honestly. It's pretty darn weak, to be frank with you. But, uh... Is this glitch? No, it's not. We're losing quite a few guys. They've... Nice. Just no hesitation right now. Just going full on out against these guys. Oh, yeah. We'll probably be losing a few divisions here and there, but whatever. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Simple servos. Good. Grab some heart attack, leg attack, stuff like that. Good. Just destroying their navy for now. Awesome. Oh, wow, we're pushing pretty darn well down here, actually. Alright, everyone, it's up to you. Return the favor. The front line is not doing great, but we've already killed 16,000 of them. 17,000, not enough. We've lost about 1,000 ourselves. It's not bad. Reform the front line and push as hard as you possibly can. Now, they'll be throwing a lot more divisions at us. A lot more, I bet. Manpower's going down. Division 235, 235, 234. It's not bad. Now, with, I, when I do this, I mean, the odds of me getting encircled are pretty darn high, and it's going to happen eventually. But, you know, whatever. But that's why we're just going to keep going. Shut down 20, or, you know, injure 24 planes or so. Uh, if we need a naval base down here, let's make this one a naval base. Let's make two naval bases, actually. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, before we move on, let's see. Maybe get some more infrastructure down here as well. Infrastructure is always good to improve. Uh, better power armor that I don't really need right now. Uh, I forgot about mentioning this. Missile launchers. Well, we already have the best that we can do. Get some more heart attacks since we're fighting robots. That'd be great. Good. Very good, very good. Go give me just one moment.
Looks like they broke our ciphers, which I obviously don't really care about, but we're doing a really good job. Once you have enough piercing, robots are no issue. Or, not too much of an issue. Which is kind of bad when you're trying to use robots yourself. Let's see, strong back. You know what? You know what? I never use bloody mess. Let's go with the bloody mess. That sounds really painful. A bloody mess, you know, when you, you know, get shot at, but whatever. Better reinforce rate. Love it, love it, love it. Division-wise, we've killed off at least 40. At least 40 enemy divisions, which is awesome. Uh, not bad. Oh, you have nothing to do over there, huh? I don't believe you. I will make sure that you have more than enough to do. Um, guys, I'm gonna recommend that you guys come this way instead. That'd be good. You guys are over there. Get rid of that. Because parts of Mexico need to be taken from this direction. Leon. Get over there. That'd be great. Make sure we still have air bases. Plenty enough air bases so that our planes can move down. Our vertebrates can move down. Radar seems like a pretty good thing to install in some locations here. Good. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Sulik, your level 8 general cunning desert fox? I think so. Our field marshal, Evander, has nothing to say. That's fine. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Losses, 2,000. 2,600, probably roughly 3,000. How many losses do you think I'm going to take in this uh, this episode? Or at least with Moctezuma. I'm going to say 5,000, maybe. Maybe 5,000. Beautiful. Just keep killing while guys. You're doing an amazing job. Thus far. You guys are over there, which is fine. I'm actually going to keep you guys here and just keep pushing down south. You guys are doing great as well. Oh, the fences are online. Settlement guards, come on out. Biplanes, let's go ahead and do Restore Naval Air Weapon Station China Lake. Another division, throw you right there. And let's grab more defense and reliability. So we can get Precon Kits. Some more Special Forces Platoon Hardness. That's fine, whatever. Good, move down there so we can kill these guys. And Moctezuma, that's probably a bad idea, since you've lost about 100 divisions so far. Probably a bad idea. Oh, they're kind of spreading out up here, which isn't good, but whatever. Cool, I'm going to do this. I need to pull you guys out for now to contain this threat up here so we can get to Texas. And the Rio, River of the Rio Grande and stuff like that. Good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It's real nice. Oh, Petro Chico. They're, getting, they're in a two-front war, but they're doing pretty well since we've... Uh, oh, their, their army's getting just decimated. More than 10% of the army's already died, but whatever. Oh, nice, even orders, which is good. Make sure we get rid of these guys. I don't like it when they do this. These are doing great. Just take that area out. Clean this up. Nice. I, the power armor, just keep doing what you're doing. Good. I guess we get like an attack somewhere. I'm gonna build a port up here as well. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. The forum, nice, very nice. Maybe improve the infrastructure all over the place. Even if you don't own the roads, try to build it up anyways, because you can. Oh no, an agent was captured. That's not good. We must mount a rescue operation. Prepare. Good luck. You're going to need it, son. Let's go ahead and get rid of this area, too. Oh, convoys, maybe? Yeah, nice. Division-wise, just smacking down their divisions is the most important thing. Because the guys will go. So. Cascading green teas, pretty good. Petro Chico, we're, you're at war with everyone. Holy cow. You know, at this point, we're just going to go to war with everyone. Screw it. Or at the very least, start justifying on other people's. At this point, research really doesn't matter too much. Pulse energy weapons, yes please. And let's explore Vault 70. So, Vault 70 was given three gecks and used them to great effect, creating the Mormon nation of New Canaan. The vault is rife with valuable social data. Between the social experiments, the vault was tasked with to the cultural development afterwards. 
All of this data sadly is on the aging mainframe located in the ruins of the vault itself, but we can either renovate the vault, most likely damaging the mainframe in the process, or we turn the old vault into a cultural research center, hoping to rescue as much data as possible from the failing mechanisms. Rebuild the vault. Ooh, that's construction speed. Ooh, I like that, but we were... Mm, we'll do this. I, I... Most of the time, I will just core stuff, because, like, because coring stuff is, like, fun. It's, like, muy bueno. As it might say in Mexico, muy bueno. But, uh, yeah. Good. Oh, you guys are done. Good. Good job. All of Texas will be ours. There you go. Let's keep on crushing them down south. They've lost 72,000 people. I've lost about 4,000. They've only 89 divisions left. Uh, Gunderson Ranch, sure. Old Chico, huh. Over half a million manpower. And Old World Blues, that's just nuts. That's insane. Where are you guys at? Mechanized training, good. Grab some max entrenchment. Uh, I want to move you guys around maybe a little bit better. Uh, you guys come up here, perhaps, and then do something like uh, that. There you go. So go ahead, concentrate yourselves a little bit better. Maybe get areas to areas that have better supply. Mine already is looking pretty good. Ballistic fibers, that's good. Let's do this, and there you go. Anything else here? No? Good, good, good. If that's the case, we probably don't need to be up here. If anything, we can probably... Oh, we're already down here. Uh, not bad. Hopefully Makazuma dies quickly, we can peace out, and then continue to go to war with everyone else here. Nice. Oh, it's like an enemy ship. I love it. Do we get encircled? No. We're pretty close to encircling it, though. Losses. Uh, I said about 5,000. We're 4,500 so far. There's only 81, 82 enemy divisions left. What else? Research-wise? Eh, APCs, I guess. Uh, I should probably move the deployment of these guys probably further south. Yeah, that'd probably be good. Uh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, there we go. We'll go to work Petro Chico immediately. Uh, we'll do that by November 2nd, probably. That'd be good. That'd be very, very good. Yeah, actually, this is really easy killing off Moctezuma. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. But this time it was pretty easy. Great. So, Petro Chico, you're going to get a few provinces here, including Bump Bump. Just in time for us to go to war with them. And there you go. That's all you get. Thank you. Boom. Boom city. You guys come there. You guys come. You guys could probably do this area too. Wouldn't matter too much. Go one, two, three, four. I hate all these little waterways so much. But it's not that bad. It could be much worse. Get three. Which probably honestly isn't enough right there, but whatever. And grab one, two. Go go ahead when you can. You guys, right there. Good old easy peasy way of making a front line. Oh my goodness, this is Ugh. That's my reaction to all this stuff. Ugh, good lord. Who designed this? Good. Nice. And then boom. That's one. Which means we have a leftover regular army. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna put you guys on the front line right here. Please and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could do a naval invasion, but... Nah. We good. We good. We're gonna double up right there. And before we let time go on, let's begin building some uh, infrastructure down here, too. Because that's always good to use. Lots and lots of infrastructure. Radar seems like a good idea as well. Maybe some air bases, because there's not a lot down here. Good. Let's get our guys organized and begin. Ooh, who hold these truths to be self-evident? That's cool. Oh, they're already allied. That's good. That's good. So that means we're done justifying then. Great! Go to war by when? Ah, November 2nd, good. good. And we can go to war immediately. 
uh, our guys are pretty much ready. Let us go ahead and have a good time with these fellas. They have a lot. Of, oh my god, that's a lot of divisions. But then again, so did Makazuma, so I'm really not that impressed. It's not a, the amount of divisions you have. What really matters... Oh, we rescued the guy. Good. Is how you use them and how strong they are. And I mean, you've got so much green. The red doesn't mean too much to me. So let's take a good look. So 247 divisions. We lost about 5,000 against Moctezuma. How many are we going to lose against Petro Chico? I'm going to assume 3,000. 3,000. At max. 3,000 max. Hmm. Sure, we'll do that. Oh, are we not doing cipher stuff? Yeah, we might as well do that from here on out. It won't even matter. Like, these guys are all going to die. This old encirclement's going to die too, which will be great. And I'll just need to do that. Thank you. You guys go right ahead as well. Uh, so now we're at 208. How many, how many divisions are we, we going to be able to kill before this war is over? 204. Good. Going to momentarily, you know, keep looking back at that as we just are smashing enemies. I love having anti-tank and not using robots at the same time. 198. Good. We'll come back in just a little bit to see that. Right now, our stockpile of robots is approaching... 50. Oh my god. 58,000. Uh, yeah, this boy, I... Mmm... This might be too much. Pew. Oh, nice. Pew. I love the pew. Is that too much? No, 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 no. We've used almost 40, a little over 40,000 robots, and we still have enough to cover all areas of resistance. That is just beautiful. Over 600,000. My gosh, that's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, you guys get this. Oh, you can have that too. Cool. I think I'll take everything else. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Good enough. And good. Let's go reorganize this a little bit. And this obviously is going to be the last episode in this campaign. Because Arroyo is awesome. If you haven't if you never played Arroyo, which took me a long time to play as them eventually, they're really fun. They're really, really fun. So I'd recommend Arroyo as a nation if you've never played them. Don't it's probably not good to start as a Royal if it's like your first campaign in Overworld Blues. It wouldn't be a good idea to play as a royal, because I think early on is a little a little bit more difficult. Just because you kinda have to gauge what everyone else is doing. There's no like set path. But you know, whatever. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh good. That's probably gonna be it for that. Good. You guys come right here. Um I guess you guys can come right there as well. And then you guys... Uh, triple stacking that area is not a really good idea, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do what we did earlier. Oh, some of these areas already have maxed out infrastructure. That's really nice. That's really nice of everyone building infrastructure. Good job, guys. More planes. Something tells me, you know, with... with Chichen Itza fighting Petro Chico so much, they're probably not that strong... How many guys they got? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a little bit of manpower, though. These guys actually have a little bit of strength. We're probably not for long. Do we already have our war goal done? Yeah, we do. Cool. You know what? I'm going to take you guys. You're not even going to come there. You're going to go in these stupid little waterways. There you go. And this one, too. Because we got enough ships to do that. Three, two... Who cares about counting? I can't count. Yeah, I can count. Alright, so we're not going to win immediately nearly as much as we did last time, but that's okay because we're attacking over the waterways. Whatever. We won't be able to win here. That's okay. We're going to lose... I'm going to assume 5,000. 5,000. They've already lost 1,000. That's good. Objective security tactics. More entrenchment. Let's gra grab some less training time, which really doesn't matter too much for us. You guys should be able to... Oh, you are moving in. That's just good. So, always like normal. The first couple rounds of battles don't go super great that's okay oh man if you could just push that way and circle all those guys up there that'd be amazing that'd be really really amazing but unfortunately you just pushed in anyways and we're still overrunning soldiers so they have 51 69 nice 60 it just it, i'm just demolishing enemies at this point and i love it i just love it 
It'd be overpowered if you could do that early on, but let's explore Vault 3. Vault 3 is partially flooded, and the Fiend's occupation of the vault has not helped us helped its state. Establishing an outpost here would not be impossible, but a much easier prospect would be to repair the water purification systems for export to the rest of our settlements. Yeah, getting six water at this point really doesn't matter. Jet fighters, cool. Grab some of this too. Awesome. Oh no, 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 I don't want you. Go. Vault security, awesome. Vault 15. I do it anyway. So, uh, I'm not going to read all this. It's the origins of the Shady Sands and Great Khans. It's housed a lot of people. Make it a heritage site? Oh, that's a lot more political power. Let's make it a heritage site. That sounds like fun. Who? I mean, just, you know, 3.13 political power a day. That's great. If you want to read this, it's a, you know, experiment vault and social separation. Two separate groups. The experiment failed due to a huge sulfur leak or deposit that contaminated their air supply. Explosives? Nah. We're going to do that one. Vault 21. Gamble their vault away to Mr. House. Incorporate the local economy. Nah, we're good. And then Vault 22. Vault water, cool. As infected them, we can either set up a quarantine area to try and research the effects of the infection in there. Remove the infection. More monthly population. Uh, I'm going with population. Just because that was like my key thing I did at the beginning of the game. So, I'm like, the more babies you can make, the better. Just the better. Also, I forgot. I just randomly remembered another comment that people wanted me to address. Play as a she. I will. I will someday. I know I say that a lot, but I will. Just like all the nations here. Well, maybe not all nations, but a lot of the nations. Advanced special forces, that's cool. Awesome. And we have to capitulate both, because they're both uh, pretty powerful. Even though, well, they used to be powerful. Both major nations now. Um, yeah, we've... I've just... I wouldn't say murdered, but we've temporarily and permanently got rid of so many enemies. And it's great. It's just a great thing to see this. Jet fighters. Fuel injection. Ah, uh, inject some fuel into me, please. Thank you. Uh, that will make you bigger and powerful and more strong. Jet fuel. Ah, uh, steel beams. I love it. Uh, Triplane attackers. Blimp stuff that I'm not going to use. Political power that I've... Wow, that's a big Cascadia. God. Uh, the Chosen One is so proud of all of us. Can I core this? Yes. Gator Ranch. I love Gator. Gator's great. Etna, Mirabelle Ranch. Northern Ranches. Cool. Very good. Naval stuff. I haven't even researched all this stuff, but it doesn't even matter at this point. We're pushing into... Actually, Andres is a pretty terrible nation to try to attack, because of all the waterways, the hills, the mountains, it's so bad. But, uh, it could be much worse. Could be so much worse. Ah, Chichen, it's a... I knew Andres would be the last one nation to take out. That's fine, whatever. That's fine. We don't want supply to be too bad here, so I don't want to put too many guys here. Build some radar up, which won't matter. Put some guys here, which won't matter. Get some supply bases, or naval bases, I mean. There we go. Ah, good job, guys. Nice, good. Beating him up. Going around him. I love it. You... You could, yeah, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man. Dry plane attackers, oh. Transport gliders, cool. Cutter holes, not, never gonna use those, probably. And we're almost there. That is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Chichen Itza, cool, thank you. Wow, that was actually, that was took a lot, that was a lot faster than I thought would happen with me taking out Mexico. But that's a campaign, my friends. We have literally taken every single nation in the wasteland. I thought this would be at least two more episodes, but it's just a single one. But, most importantly, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Look at that manpower. Oh, so good. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this campaign in its entirety. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in another campaign and another day. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.